Yeah. 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 Everything Any water driven? Any water driven? No, not at the no. moment. But there's the bore is 32 meters beneath us. It's ancient um, artesian basin. It's like a, an aquifer that goes mm. into the artesian basin. Um, they say it's 22,000 year old water. I don't know how you you, you would work so that out. But the the reality is is that yeah. that yeah. that is 32 yeah. meters beneath us. It is unlimited Two water feet, right yeah. now. Mm. So there's mm. areas of the Two property inch. that that one don't three, have access to it. Like we're at the moment probably about 160 meters above sea level. We and it goes to 200, so we've got quite a, a, a high property, um, which is important to a lot of people as far as height's concerned. Yep. Then <laughs> you won't get the, the more that you will down on Kyogre Road at 32 metres beneath it. So what we'll do at the moment, I'm investigating just purchasing a water truck, and then that water truck will fill up either from other water sources around the area, from the dam or on the property or from the water bores that will drill all over the property, and we'll fill the community members' tanks that don't have... Uh, access to the water board themselves. So, what about roof, your roof water? So they'll also tanks. have the ability to collect the water from mm. rainwater tanks and mm. um, so forth. But if, for example, in, in a drought situation or it hasn't rained for six months, then, then you've got access because the whole farm is yours. So it's yeah. your water at the front anyway. So the community would own a water truck and somebody comes in um, you know, who wants to drive that water truck will be paid to do so. And they'll just mm. drive around. Their day will be delivering free Something water or yeah. their own water to, to their own you know, community members and shareholders who don't have it. This here at the moment, we will use to set up the infrastructure on the property. Like we've got three phase power down here at the big blue shed, we've got a machinery shed, we've got a workshop. So we've got plans for uh, a tribal, sacred geometry pi tribal pub, uh, the service station that we've, we already own the current town that's there. Um, Mount Burrell, but that we want to upgrade the service station, the supermarket, the bottle shop. We want to open the pub. So there's a whole heap of, um, of stuff that's planned for this for this area. This is actually the reason we stopped here is this is Central Hill. Mm -hmm. This is the centre of the property. This is actually where the main community centre is going to be. So you've got the border ranges here and the pinnacle just appearing there. Mm. You'll see as we go down, the dam is over here, over this side. You'll see that that's the area that we'll actually have as the main sort of community hub. Down here at uh, Tallawood Dam, which is over 1.2 kilometres long, uh, wrapping all the way along. And behind us, we also have the log cabin. Uh, which they put together in uh, roughly a week, I was told, from uh, the trees coming down to the final structure being completed. It's a good example of what you can actually do of um, with the timber off the block, if that was the type of yeah. thing you're after. Yeah. You mentioned log cabins before, didn't you? Yeah, uh, it looks like a good spot to live. There are more dams planned for us mm. to do smaller dams in the area so that we actually have access to contain the water and to capture it and use it for uh, mm. irrigation, all the other mm. sorts of things. But in particular, this this is an amazing community space. We want to keep the waterways, the dams, for kids to come down and swim. Um, there's, a, there's a slide that in summertime they put um, a tarp down there and shoot off and they jump into the water and okay. stuff. So this is That'd be fantastic. for us and then mm. the other existing dam on there will always remain part of the community to, to access, come down. There, you know, our intention is to have canoes and all mm. of the water stuff down, um, you know, activities down here. People will come and just hang, just enjoy it. It's, it's all our property, you know. Yeah, it's fantastic. And uh, I love the fact that you can make your own log cabin mm. from the trees that are here. The plantation timber is all dead straight. Mm. It's, yeah. You know, and it's all fairly uniform size and it's, it's great for doing that sort of thing. Yeah. You know? It's it's not <clears throat> unlimited resource, but almost. I mean, I, mm. we couldn't build um, enough structures to use up all of the timber on the property. You use the timber from uh, the land that you clear to put your house on. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like I did in the old days. Hundred percent. That area just down here will be um, a beach. Dump a few layers of sand, some river sand in there to make it easy. We've got some ideas, um, some concept like organic pools. Amazing stuff with ponds um, mm. that turn out to be organic pools. It's one of the paradigm shifts that we've got. The, the bylaws prohibit you from having a saltwater pool or a chlorinated pool on country because all of that water that is then toxic, acid, um, you know, treated chemicals, it all then has to go somewhere and you own it's not like in, in the city where you just put it into the sewer and it just disappears and goes out into the ocean and you know, oh well too bad, so sad. It stays on your country and you own all of the country and it eventually ends up in here.